Welcome back, squad, to another live stream. And today we are going to do some more BitMEX trading. You know, you know how to spot an addict. As soon as they start BitMEX, they just crank it back up every damn day. Yeah, no. <laughs> We got to take a little bit of a break. So we, so every Monday, you know, sometimes even more frequently, we shall see. But this is Season 1, Episode 2. All right. Now, we don't know how the market is going to play out. We have seen a major jump since last time. Uh, I think Bitcoin was like 5,500, 5,800 or something like that. And now it's 8,000. So there's been a massive jump. <laughs> so... Without further ado, let's get into this. All right, good. That's working. Okay, here we go. So you know how it goes. I start up the music. I play it for an hour. When the music stops, the live stream ends. So here we go. Okay, so now the first thing, where do we start always? We start with the charts, right? Always the charts. So first off, what do we see here? We're on the one hour graph, all right? And we can see that the blue line is above the signal line, which indicates that the price will continue to rise. But what do we see here for our RSI indicator? We see it is overbought. Bitcoin is overbought right now. And this seems to be a consistent trend, okay? So you can see it here. There's a major rise, Bitcoin gets overbought, and then it dips because it has to go back to that that um, decent range in between overbought and oversold. There, as long as it's within this middle range, this is regular activity. But right now, we're seeing a lot of abnormal activity, okay? So, with that said, we can see major dips after these major rises, right? And that's what I'm thinking we're gonna see up here once again. So right back here, as you can see, we saw this major price dive from 7,500 all the way down to 6,850, which is massive. And I think we're gonna see something similar to that right up here somewhere, because again, we had this major price rise and it's outside of the RSI index here, right? It's past that 70%, which indicates that Bitcoin is heavily overbought. So I can't see it rising much higher without correcting first okay so what i have done is i have made uh, several orders and i actually had to cost average because the price went up higher than uh, than even i expected so uh before we get into where i'm at and uh what my order placement is um we're going to check out bitcoin ticker so as you can see here we have a, a very, very, very small uh, little buy wall here, a 15 Bitcoin and then a 30 Bitcoin placement here. And it's kind of keeping it in, uh, in this steady range. I'm just going to refresh this real quick. There we go. It was kind of glitching out. So now look at this. Look like this is it gives it away. OK, look at all of this uh selling resistance there's a major amount of selling resistance and the buy resistance here is is not as strong and you can very quickly see that based on the the slant of the graphs so this is indicating that the price will continue to decrease uh in the short term okay guys so just note this there is a massive amount of selling strength and there's very little buy strength at this point it could very quickly uh correct down to 7700 or even below um but they're trying to keep it there now what range do am i gonna play in well right now i'm gonna play to about here so about 8,000. So if it goes back down to 8,000, I'll close my position uh, because that is the weakest point for um, buying support. Okay, so that, that's the trading range we're seeing here. So now what do I have in place? Where am I at? I will show you guys. So as you can see here, I have a position at 8,051. All right. And you can see the price of Bitcoin, it's 8,082. So I'm betting that this price will see a major dive, okay? 
And at that point, I will close out my position. Now, what happens if the price drastically increases? That's when you cost average, okay? Oh, also guys, please let me know if the music is too loud and it's like difficult to hear me at all, um, because then I will adjust the volume of the music. All right, okay. So things uh, seem to be good here. Let's continue. So as you can see, the price of Bitcoin is starting to decrease a little bit. It's starting to do kind of what we thought. And I think it's going to dive quite a bit more yet. Uh, again, if we look at the index here, it's just, it's so apparent. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't drop. Now, that was the one hour. Let's... Uh, Let's just go back here quickly. We're seeing we're seeing some major action. <laughs> so 8062, so 58. So we're getting closer to our entry price, right? 8 8051. And I think we keep this position right now because I think we're going to see a bigger dive even if it goes to 8024. That's still a decent chunk of change in our pockets. Okay, guys. So here we go. Here, oh, below entry. Below entry. There it is. 28 bucks. If I closed right now, 28 bucks, 24 bucks. But I think it will go uh, probably sub 8,000. That uh, that wouldn't surprise me. But the system is so like overloaded. BitMEX is so overloaded. It's lagging like crazy right now. It doesn't even know what to do. And now we're, yeah, so... So there you go. There you have it. We were sub 8,000 there for a little bit. And that doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is some movement. <laughs> Come on, boys. Oh. Okay. Hold up. Gotta buy daddy an Oculus Rift. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> 35, 28 bucks. That's not gonna buy that Oculus Rift. <laughs> That's gotta go down in price still. But you know what? I think it's gonna see like a, like a, a bigger dive. Absolutely. Um, it, again, if we look here, we're not even touching our 70% uh, index here right it I, I want it to go under and kind of in this range even right about here i'd probably close out now where would that put us exactly well if we if we look right about here ish i'm thinking we'll probably go back to 7700 or at least 7842 7850 that's kind of what I'm thinking I don't think we'll see another drastic price rise but again if we do that's where I'll cost average my trade right so let's go back to the trading here laggy bitmex man it is just it this is busy bitmex is busy today the last few days actually look at this boys Look at that. Look at that price rise. Oh my gosh. So where was it last week? Um, okay, so what is it? Like May 14th? No, no, 13th. Okay, so it's May 13th. So last week, we would have been on the 6th. So the last time we were trading, guys, was the 6th. So roughly about here. It was 5700 And now we're at $8,000. Man, don't you wish you opened along and just let it sit, eh? Whew, you'd be killing it. But uh, but yeah, like I said, I think we're gonna go sub uh, sub eight thousand again. Um, I don't see any reason why that would not happen. So again, as you can see, my trade I'm down a little bit here because I opened at eight thousand. I cost averaged to eight thousand fifty, and if it goes up to about eighty two hundred, I would cost average that again to uh what would that put me 8125 or something like that i think that's about right 
But we shall see. What I like about this trading and, and trading with Bitcoin on BitMEX is that the amount of Bitcoin that you trade is always the same. It's just one and a half percent of your portfolio. But as the price rises, the value of your portfolio rises, right? I love that because your trading is always the same. It doesn't change. As long as Bitcoin is volatile, you continue to pull back percents, right? So it's nice. I, you know, people that start trading on BitMEX, they actually probably get like butterflies when they miss, um, you know, these, these big price jumps. Like, oh, Bitcoin went from 5,700 to uh, 5,800 or, or to from 5,700 to 8,000. People are like, oh, I missed so mu out on so much money. But you got to realize, right? The opportunity is always going to be there because Bitcoin is always going to be volatile uh, until the point that regulators um, put regulations in place, right? But uh, we always have that volatility and that creates opportunity for traders. So it's nice to, uh, to have that. So again, I think we're going to see... Uh, a larger price dip I'm thinking 8k 8k or 79.50 that's what I'm thinking is gonna happen in the short term here so let's go back up here and let's change our chart so we're gonna look at the 45 minute here we go as we can see the price is it looks like it's gonna continue to rise over the short term Let's look at the 30 minute. You can see the behavior. You can see what's happening. What hap what's happening is the blue line is bouncing off of the signal line. And what that indicates is that there's potential for a cross to happen very soon. And when this blue line crosses this signal line, that's when we see a major price dive. And we are in that zone. So that's why I placed a short and if we look at BitMEX right now, you can see what I'm saying is happening. So that's 20 bucks up if I close my trade right now. I could close it at 80.35 and it'll probably hit again, but I really, I'm really feeling like it's gonna dive further. I think we can do pretty decent here in the short term, guys. Let's go. 8036. We need that to go down. All right, switch back to the charts and let's talk a little more about this. So again, on the 30 minute MACD, we can see that it's bouncing off the signal line and uh, Bitcoin is still overbought. So what that means is that the price is, uh, it's gonna correct at some point it's gonna get back into this range. And when it gets back into this range, that is when we cash out our trade because we've, oh shit. That's, look at this, Woo. what did I say? It's, it's all in the charts, man, it is all there. Oh my gosh, look at that correction from like 8013 to 8070, right? That is this market and that is this volatility that you can really exploit to uh, put a few extra dollars in your bank account, you know, um, if you do cash out your Bitcoin. But my suggestion, hold that Bitcoin, all right? Let it mature, it will pay off. So here we go, 8074, will we see the dip again? I think so, absolutely. I think as long as it, as long as this blue line is bouncing off of the signal line, once it dives under, that is it. It is done. So now where exactly, like how deep did it dive? How deep did the price of Bitcoin dive just for that second there? See, this seems to be consistent. So 80.22 or so roughly. If I close my trade there, um, I think I'd be probably good. So I'm gonna close at 8022. 
let's see where that goes now I do want you guys to note uh, a few things in my strategy um, what you'll see very quickly is that I don't have any stop losses um, placed on my account okay as you can see here I do not have any stop losses and now there is a reason for this because when you're in a cost averaging position um, if Bitcoin goes to 8200 I'll cost average again and then at that point my entry is 8125 and then that gets me closer to pulling out of my trade and hopefully uh, breaking even um, even more hopeful to make profits of course that's our goal but when you're in a, a, a negative trade for a long period of time you get antsy you just want to get out of it and it really tests your mental strength right um, I know some people they they've sat in uh, negative trades like 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 this right for very long periods of time um, weeks I think the I think the the la longest I've ever lasted in a negative position was was about a week and then it was just testing my mental sanity right and uh, yeah so I'll close out of this trade as soon as the value dips down to about 80 22 again that seems to be consistent with these bottoms right and so I'm gonna try to exploit uh, the bottoms here because it's hit it twice in the last two hours um, and I think uh, I think it's gonna happen again so that is what I'm betting on so now I'm just gonna switch back to the chart here again as you can see in the 30 minute here we're dropping off it's bouncing and we're still above the uh, the overbought uh, indicator for the RSI so with that said let's just take a quick look at the 15 minute as you can see it's about to cross again but it's still in its zone hmm I guess only time will tell that correction though from 8016 to like 8075 was insane that was getting close to me like pulling trade out it was getting close it's getting close there so now my next question is where does this put us on the chart if we are to look at previous support say a year or two years ago okay well let's take a look let's look at the one day okay and let's see what's going on here so you can see where we are we have our line pinned here let's go to one week maybe that'll be better Woo. as you can see major price rises hoo, hoo, hoo. okay so one week we got a bit of bit of support here and that is about it and this goes back right this is 2018 but even as soon as it hit here it just dumped heavy so what about before this point well we're seeing major price rises this is this was the start to that that major run from 8k in 2017 all the way up to 20k so a lot of people are suspecting that Bitcoin will see that massive rise up again all the way to about 20k so a lot like again a lot of uh, a lot of people are thinking if you open longs and you sit on them um, you know you could do uh, substantially well but look at those dives look at these price dives as soon as it got up to here we saw it go from about like almost a twenty thousand dollar Bitcoin all the way down to eleven thousand so half of its value dipped in about a week in one week Bitcoin got based the value of Bitcoin got cut in half entirely by eleven thousand dollars like that's insane so I mean according to this support here there's 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 not really much going on it's either the price just shoots up or it corrects back uh, into its index here and I, I'm thinking I'm, I'm betting that it's uh, it's gonna correct a bit at least qui uh, quickly enough for me to pull out of my trade and then uh, kind of go from there so again we'll just go here and we will see what happens 
Okay, so 81, 14, 81, 11. We're, okay, so right now, if we closed out of our trade, we'd be out 100 bucks. Now, would you ever close this trade out? No! Not a chance. Because, again, all the indicators are stating that the price will go down. Now, will Bitcoin defy that? I don't know. Has it done it in the past? Absolutely. But, uh, I think we gotta go with, uh, with the odds here. Always gotta hang out with the odds. You have a good opportunity to be successful with your trades if, uh, if you stick to the odds. Speaking of which, what does Bitcoin ticker look like real quick? Okay, so they, they pulled it up. They ramped this up pretty heavy. As you can see here, they're, uh, the sell side, or sorry, the, the buy side here, like really, it really strengthened. So now at this point, it's 183 coins to go back roughly to about 8K. Yeah, 153 coins to go back to 8K. Now, I mean, in this market, we've seen 153 coins as peanuts. I mean, that'll get dropped in the flash of a second and that'll be that. So, I mean, if we see uh, another nice dive to 80, 22 or even below, I'd be happy to pull out of this trade and then get ready to um, get back in the game uh, afterwards. So, whew. turn down the stream delay, bro. <laughs> yes, um, well, I absolutely would, uh, and I can, but I'd have to do that on next stream, my dude. That's, uh, that goes out to WRST. Music is solid. BTC is on roids from Camille. Absolutely. You know what? You know what? Uh, Bitcoin has just been going mental as of late, right? And I mean, it, it just makes you wish you opened along at uh, 5,700. But I mean, we thought we would see like a little bit of a rejection around 6,200 or, or something like that. And in fact, if we looked at the graph, we'd probably see something similar to that. But um, I'm feeling we're going to see another dip here. I'm feeling we're going to see another dip here, gentlemen. This is pretty vertical on, uh, on the ticker. This is pretty vertical. That's going to drop off. <laughs> Gotta hydrate when you're talking all the time on the stream. Woo! I'll take you out. Eighty-one hundred. Oh my gosh, man! If you saw that on ticker, look at this. Look at that price jump. Wow! They put a lot in there. That must have been like a two hundred Bitcoin rise. So this faded line that you can see beneath the um, the bright green line is where it was and where it is now. So it jumped about 200 Bitcoin. Like, oh, that is brutal. This is getting intense. This could really go either way at this point. Nice. Good good plan, Camille. You know what? That is the way to do it. That's the only way to get out of it, right? How else do you get out of a, you know, a, a big red short, right? But that's the way you got to do it, man. It is the only way. And so I hope all works out for you. Get out of that short and get ready. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that we'll see a, a major correction? Do you think now that Bitcoin hit has hit 8K, it'll just, you know, drop down maybe 400, 500 bucks? Or do you think it's going to jump again and surge and just keep moving forward to that 20K uh, Bitcoin again? What do you guys think?
Hmm. Oh man. Let me see another dip towards AK. 8K, let's go. He'll dip to 7,800. You know what? That's honestly, you you and I are in the same boat, Camille. That is what I'm feeling as well. Um, I mean, all the indicators are, are showing that the price is basically going to dip. But Bitcoin deviates from all sorts of common sense. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it kept increasing. But a dip is welcome it's welcome bring it in bring it in fam bring it drop this fucking price <laughs> we got these shorts we need to drop out of <laughs> that's awesome okay 80 70 80 70 come on Let's get one more dip down to here. It's testing that, you know? It really is. It's testing that that bottom. So, again, I, I really think it's, it's going to dive down to that 8K one more time. At least one more time. I think we'll see it at about half of this wick at the very least. And again, this is that trading indicator that I talked about in episode one right was was wicks if you see a, a very large increase in price generally generally what happens is you get about half of the wick left and there's a there's a price correction at that point so let's zoom in here and see roughly where the price would be if it corrected to about half of this wick that would probably be about 79.73 or so roughly Yeah, that's about half of the wick, 79.73. So I wouldn't be surprised again if we if we touch that. That uh, that'd be pretty sensible to me. And uh, we've seen that in the past. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. I like Polax. Two of my best friends are Polax. It's great. You guys are awesome. 8,085. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Okay. Let's take another look at charts and let's see what is going on. So we're at that one hour. Let's check that 45. As we can see, this blue is coming a little bit back down. Thankfully, we need that. If we go to the 30, we'll see We'll see a little more of that behavior. Now, now at this point, we're going to see... If this blue line bounces again off of our signal line, if it does not bounce, then we are going to see a nice price drop. And again, um, if we look at the RSI indicator here, it will be something similar to this. And where did this price uh, take us roughly? So from here, 78.50 to 79.26, 76 bucks. So a $76 drop from current price. What's current price? 8081 minus $76. So we're looking at $8,005 roughly for a Bitcoin if we do see another dip like we saw here. Roughly. All right. So hopefully it works out that way. I mean, the 30 minute is certainly showing that there's potential for a cross. And we're gonna see if it just bounces back up again, if it does not like that or or, or what. Because uh, Bitcoin ticker, man, they did, they did not like that. They, they're prepped for it this time. I don't know if we're gonna see that again. They're really strengthening that 8K, that 8K mark. They're really holding it down. Wow. 182 coins back to 8K. Oh my God. What are they doing? Look at this. Look at this. 
500 coins to 8k they're really trying for a price rise guys they are playing the market heavy look at that someone has to chew up 500 coins wow there's some big players in the market right now guys i'll tell you what that is that is insane jesus let's get back to it 8102 so again we do have potential to do another uh cost average now do we want a cost average now not really we need to wait uh and see if bitcoin touches this point again if bitcoin touches i'm gonna say 8200 then we purchase uh double our contracts and then at that point we just see how things go right and then at that point our entry price would approximately be eight thousand one hundred and twenty five so if it surged to 8200 and then it came back down um that would be actually pretty beneficial for us because again according to the indicators the price shouldn't rise um substantially uh again here it should kind of hang around this range for a little bit but i want to see that dip <laughs> i want to see that major price dive <laughs> We ready. We already had uh, one cash out point. We could have cashed out right about here. 8033 or probably just a bit below. We could have cashed out. But we're going to do 8022. We're going to see if this is going to dive heavy. And then we got to go from there. This volatility is just the best. Okay. What's the hour look like? Oh, okay. Yeah. Still room for a rise, apparently. Hmm over the course of the hour the hour charts are indicating a rise the 30 minutes and 45s are indicating that there's potential for a very large drop in the short term okay so short term price drop long term price rise we'll see how it goes if we can last about 30 30 more minutes and we get another cash out point let's do it and then at that point if we really wanted to we could uh, we could open a, a long, but I'm not comfortable right now with where this chart is. This RSI index here, I'm not I'm not comfortable with where it is to open longs at this point. Maybe if it dipped back down to here and we we saw this again, right at about 6,800. But uh, what what was our price gap here? So from 7,500 to 6,800, so that's five six seven hundred dollars. If we saw that again, so a $700 drop from where we are now, it'd be what? $7,400? Yeah. So if we saw it dive to about $7,400 again, right about here-ish, that'd be all right with me. I think that's that would be perfect to open some longs at that point. Because it's much more realistic to see uh, see a price rise from that point. But from where we are now, I don't know. I, I don't think so. Maybe maybe based on 2017's charts, I mean, I'd give it that. There was a, a massive um, price surge. From, if you look at 2017 and where we are now. Eighty one oh four. 
That'd be wicked if we got the opportunity to cash out this trade at another bottom wick. Maybe we'll see another price uh, drive right up to here for like 81.70 again during this stream. If that's the case, I might get really close to cost averaging again and then just let it dive back to 8100. What's Ethereum doing right now? Let's just take a quick look over there. So we hit the 200 mark, guys. $203. You, you'd think that Ethereum would see a, a much larger price rise from where it was. I thought, I like, I feel like we should see maybe 215 or 220 out of Ethereum by now. Right? Because, I mean, wasn't Ethereum at one point, like, worth like five hundred dollars or something that's what i thought when uh when bitcoin went to 20k there it went pretty up there like ethereum was 15 percent look at that price rise 15 percent guys oh my gosh bitcoin is killing it lately where where else do you make 15 percent on the day there's no stock out there 15% on the day. This is crazy. It's just another day in Bitcoin. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. We're getting, uh, we're getting, sort of getting closer here. 80.79. Here it is, here it is. Oh my gosh, the $20 rise is insane. Just give me that hella dive, hella dive. Let's go, let's go. Oh, 60, here we go. 60, give me that 50. We're gonna take 50 home today, that's set. Keep going, let's do it. Oh, 36 on the ticker, 36 on the ticker. Come on, come on. Ooh, this is getting touchy. Ooh. This is it. We're going to hit that again. We're going to hit that again. Come on. 80-22. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Whoop. Let's go. Oh, 80-26 on the ticker. Oh, this is going to dive. Hella dive. Here we go. Here we go. It's coming in hot. 80-44. 80-15. 80 Oh my gosh, 8,009. We're closing out, boys. This is, oh my God. This surge is insane. We're out. You feeling it? You feeling it like I'm feeling it? What did I say? <laughs> Shit. Okay. So there is that dive that we were talking about. We knew that it was coming. We knew that it was coming. There was no question about it. Okay, all the indicators lined up and there was that nice hella price dive that we needed. Now, at this point, there you could open a long, right, if you wanted to, but you have to you have to really think about this, okay? Think about the chart. Think about what it's doing right now. We're still above our 70% on the RSI indicator, okay? Now again, what that means is a major price dive. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to open at 80.43. We're going to open a short, okay? We're going to do it again. But it's only 7,000 contracts, okay? We, ha we have to realize this. So now we're in place at 80.45. The price is going to go probably back up to 81.50 or something, okay? And if it does that, then that's where we cost average again, okay? Or if the price keeps diving down, then we just close our trade. Either way, it works out for us, all right? So now we're beneficial on both sides, and that's where you wanna be. You wanna be in a position where you're kind of almost always at an upside or potential for an upside, right? And we've done that with our trade. We have done it. 
Okay, so now if we look right here, we're up to, we're up 21 bucks. And I think la like last time I checked it was it was like down 28 bucks. So we made like 60 US off of that trade. And now right now we're at 20, so we're 21 bucks up minus the fee. So we're a little bit down um based on the fee, so it's like 15 bucks or something like that or 16 bucks. So now, at this point, we've gotten out of our major red position, and we've also made uh, $16 US on top of everything, including the fee for taking this position. So we actually did very, very good um, in retrospect, guys. So now, we're going to play the field. We're going to see, does the price continue to dive? And if it does, cash our trade. Or if the price continues to go up. Okay, so right now we could pull. We could pull at 80.23. Let's try for. Ooh, I don't know. I think it's gonna continue to dive. We're go, we need to go sub 8k again. Sub 8k. This is it. <laughs> small trades now you know what my hope is for for these episodes and these seasons is i'll go through i'll keep making these live streams and as you'll see the um total amount of funds in my account will increase they'll constantly increase and that is what i want to show i want to show that being profitable and and you know doing it from home is possible like you can make money or make bitcoin uh, if you're if you spend time and you just learn the strategies and you put effort in right you can actually do incredibly well so so okay so i'm gonna close right now at 12 if it continues to go down whatever it probably will and we're we're pulling out come on let's go put put it in come on yeah, boy okay we're out we're out okay there it is whoo whoo and we closed at 8,000 oh my gosh look at that dive but it's so hard to call these though you know because look at this hella dive if I kept that order in the profitability would have been insane insane 7870 okay but the thing is is you can never give yourself flack for taking profit you take profit roll through you did it bro you killed it all right and that's exactly what happened we did it so now at this point would i open uh, another short no probably not um because it's going to like half of this wick is going to get chewed up i think and so at this point i probably i would have opened a long at about 7,900, um, roughly, because again, half of this wick I think will get chewed up and will normalize right around 79.72. I'm thinking, unless it just continues to dive, but I don't think so. I really don't think so. It usually normalizes at about half of the green wick, so 79.72, roughly. Okay, guys, that's what I'm feeling. Oh my god, we killed it. We killed it. We made like almost $100 today. We're doing good on this live stream. Let's go. One, 100 US. Whoop, whoop. We'll take it. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the charts again. Let's move away from price and see what's going on here. As you can see, there is a very, very weak side on the, on the sell side. There's not enough selling pressure. And the price will probably come back up to about 8K. It's not going to take much to do that. <clears throat> so I, don't be surprised uh, if it does go back up to 8K. Now, if we look at the charts, let's uh, look at our one hour. As you can see, we've touched back into our safe zone for our RSI indicator. And now we're going to move it to about our 30 minute and see what exactly is happening. As you can see, we have officially hit the cross. Okay, so based on that, we're going to see a continual, a continual price dive. Now, 
it's it's hit and miss because some indicators say that the price will go back up a little bit and then some other indicators are showing that in the short term the price will go down and I think I think that's what we're gonna see short term price continues to go down long term the price will continue to rise okay so and my short term is 30 minutes and my long term is about an hour okay so we won't see um, a nice correction until about here I'm thinking roughly ru right about here maybe but we'll see how it goes you know who knows right not all of us can tell the future we just do it sometimes <laughs> it looks like the price is gonna continue to uh, to drive down a bit more still here so you know what I'm gonna do um oh it's touchy but I'm really feeling like I should open uh, another short here at 7940 Oh, it's too late for 79.40. You know what? I could open it and just see where this goes. Ah, oh, it's so touchy for me right now. Oh, I'm gonna wait. I'm I'm gonna wait a little bit. We're gonna see where this goes, and then determine to close our trade uh, after this. I'm gonna need more fluids soon. I'm running out of fluids here. Okay, 79.20, 79.30. So 79.15 on the uh, ticker right now. 79.08 on the ticker. 79.20 on Bitmax. Here we go. Here's that dive. Oh my gosh. I wouldn't be surprised if we hit down here again. 78.19. I'm gonna open. Uh, oh, there it is! Fuck. Oh, I don't know. It's you can't touch it now. You can't chase it. Okay, guys. So this is this is a strat. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. You you don't chase these red wicks. Okay, don't do it. If you chase these red wicks, you will get hurt because what happens is the price corrects. It will fly back up so fast you won't be able to close out of your trade and you'll be stuck in a red zone, okay? I'm telling you from personal experience, do not chase these wicks. Some people get the fear of missing out and what happens is, is they'll uh, open a position right now at 78.40 and they'll, and they'll open a short. But what's going to happen is, is the price is going to correct and there's going to be a massive surge upwards, okay? I, w I would put my money on uh, uh, the price surging and correcting at about 7900 I would not doubt this don't don't play don't play these red wicks man don't do it it's not worth it Ooh. yeah I've had too many bad experiences with chasing wicks <laughs> but you know what I would do right about now I'd probably open um an 80-40. Oh, yeah. I missed it. See? 80-50, maybe. A buy long at 80-50. Let's see if we can get that. If we get that, that would be pretty hype. Actually. Oh, my gosh. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. See? Yeah, see? There's that price rise. We're, we're seeing it again. And I won't even place my orders right now. So... Oh, but the ticker is playing games right now. If you look at the ticker, look at this. 78.17, 78.11, and we're at 78.73. Like, look at that price difference between BitMEX and the ticker. It is mental right now, okay? Like, it's it's playing games. I don't know. This is touchy. This is, uh, this is a touchy, touchy spot right now. But as you can see, it's doing what I said <laughs> like it's starting to correct itself so this is temporary this is just this is temporary and it's back to this support look at this support it hasn't really it hasn't really killed the support yet it's sitting right in this range now it's playing off this big wick here so the next place it would stop would be probably 76 47 76 47 but 
I think it's going to just correct. It'll come back up to about half of this wick. About 79.70. Something like that, roughly. We're calling it. But I don't play shorts here, man. Don't do not do it. Don't do it. This market moves too much for, for playing shorts right now. It's just wait. Because right now we're in the we're in the middle range. I like to call this the middle range, okay? You don't want to trade in the middle range unless you're cost averaging. Um, now at the bottom, when we were at 78.40, I would have opened a long and then watched it go up. If it went down, I would have cost averaged and saved myself, right? But right now we're in the middle. We're not 8K. We're not 78.40. So this isn't really a range that you want to play. Okay, um, there's too there's too much potential for damage, and you you want to wait this one out for a little bit. Okay, so so try to get um, seventy nine hundred or eight eight thousand and open a short. Okay, um, well seventy nine fifty or eight thousand and open a short, uh, a one and a half percent short. And uh, if you want to open a long, I would say open around um, seventy seven forty. Or 7760 in there okay but I wouldn't play this the way it is it's too dangerous how's ethereum doing oh from like 203 from like 203 to 195 like the the amount of profit that you could have made off of that is exponential it is so large. Oh, because Ethereum, um, if you bet right on Ethereum, you can be even more profitable um, than than uh, trading XBT USD, right? So that's the thing you got to note that there too. Seventy-eight sixty. It's so nice, you know, trading in this market the way it is um, because it fluctuates so much. So the pro like the potential for profit is incredibly large and it's it's really nice to be trading in a market like this. It doesn't come around often. It's uh, it's it's pretty rare. So when you have opportunities to trade it in a market like this, um, I, I highly suggest it. Um, just be very careful, you know, make sure you set your stop losses and you're very careful with the position sizes that you establish. Again, I do one and a half percent because uh, that's, that's a really, really safe position, especially in this type of market. This market is insane. It is ruthless. Okay, so seventy-eight seventy-five. If we opened a long at about seventy-eight forty, we would have been uh, we would have been in a good position there. Wow, we're seeing actually a pretty interesting phenomenon right now. So we're at uh, seventy-eight seventy-five here. As you can see, the September contract is seventy-eight ninety-three ninety-five. It's actually above the XBT USD. Usually this contract or this contract is far below by about like 40 to 50 dollars the uh, the XBT USD contract the perpetual contract so We're in a pretty uh, pretty unique position right now. I Just found that kind of interesting and I, and I want to show you guys that that correlation So it's actually changed it went inverse on us. So now we're at 7835 this again is a good position to open a long. Um, so, oh, 7815. Let's go 20. Let's go 20. Spy long. Can we get it? Can we get it? Oh my god, it's dipping. Don't do it. <gasps> okay, order submission error. <laughs> Okay, the reason the okay, so I was gonna open at 7875. Look, look at the ticker. Look at the ticker. 7766. Oh my god, it just it just dove to 7600 okay, so if, if that order got submitted we'd be that would have sucked like Wow 
Oh, there's that correction. Half of this green wick. Again, half of this green wick. So 7646. What did I say? Like, you gotta be careful in this market, dude. Don't chase the wicks. You'll get hurt. Because when you're trading in this kind of market, it all comes down to being on the right side of the fence. Okay? If you're on the wrong side of the fence, that's it. You're done. It'll it will it will kill you. It's ruthless. Right? So just wait it out. Let it normalize a bit. 7700. Ticker says 7600. Hella price dive. Hella price dive. Hella price dive. Yo, it's it, okay, it's diving. Hell, oh my god. It just went down to 7500 and and kicked back up to 7650. On the ticker. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Don't chase it. Oh, don't chase it. Oh, 75.55. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna. Ch oh. Okay. Oh my god. 76. Oh my god. 7600? Oh my god. I don't even know what to do. Oh my god. Let's try to open one for 77. Oh, it's so touchy. You can't. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. Let's try to get 77. Let's try to get 77. Okay. We'll try to short at 77. If we hit it, A. Hey. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. Oh my gosh, what is happening? This market is bonkers. You'd be crazy. Oh my gosh, to not get in on this. You guys saw it here. You guys you guys saw it here first. Like this is the price dive season. It's happening right now. Oh my gosh, I got I got a short at 77. It's in. Now again, this is where cost average season comes in, right? Price will probably correct. And then we're going to have to cost average our way out of this. <laughs> That's the only way we're getting out of this one. Is the cost average. Because it'll probably increase. But again, we're very, very fortunate because our price is, or our position size is very, very small. Okay? And because it's so small, it doesn't bother me that the price is going to, you know, go up. That doesn't bother me. So we'll see. The market is really weak right now. So the buy side and sell side are really weak. So there's a lot of fluctuation room. Like Ticker is saying 76.50 and then BitMEX is saying 77.15. Roughly. Oh my gosh. Where should we close this, do you think? Half of green ticker? Or half of the green wick? 76.50? Yeah, let's do 76.50. Oof. Okay. Come on, there we go. 76.50, okay? So if we hit 76.50 again, right around the bottom of this wick, we're done. <laughs> Otherwise, what we have to do is we'll have to cost average our position. Which is okay. It's not a big deal. This is what we account for when we create our positions, right? And you'll see it. Um, we're not done with this wick yet. It's, uh, it's going to continue to go up and, and down. It's going to fluctuate a little bit over the next little while until again it uh, starts to normalize a little bit more so but it's gonna be it's gonna be playing in this range a little bit let's see if anything it pulls back to like 7820 
and then at that point we can uh, we can do another cost average But I wouldn't be surprised if we saw another uh, nice price dive. <laughs> oh yeah, seven. Okay, now we're back at our entry price at seventy-seven hundred. So you see, this is why I'm glad we didn't chase like seventy-six fifty or seventy-six twenty. You know, you don't want to chase a short there. You would want to open a long. Um, that would be a much better position at that price point. Because chances are this wick will correct, right? But at least I'm at 7,700. That's a good. Uh, that's a good area. Where are we at for? Ooh, actually, we are close to an hour, guys, or just past an hour. Wow. What a stream, guys. That was solid. We got a few more, uh, probably another minute or, or two minutes left before we close the stream. I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in today on this BitMEX live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Saw some major price rises, major price drops. Predictions were, I don't know, pretty close to accurate, I would say. And we'll see how this trade goes. I think after the last video, I had a few trades open and I ended up closing them and I made, I think like 200 USD or something off of my last trades uh, from the last video. And then now where I'm at is I'm actually up again, I think like 40 bucks or something. What is it? 55 bucks. Okay, so I'm up 55 bucks right now. All right, so with that said, thank you guys again so much for tuning in. I will catch you guys in the next video, and that will be episode three, season one, BitMEX live trading. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Happy trading. Take care.